Okay, in this episode of Mac C++ Programming, we are going to be applying all of the knowledge that we have learned uh, about C++ Programming thus far to make a program that evaluates or that, um, that performs the quadratic equation or the quadratic quadratic equation yeah that's what it is. quadratic equation quadratic formula whatever it's called you know that that negative b plus minus square root a b squared minus four ac over two a i think that's what it is um but to do this in order to do this we're going to need to pound and include another file called the math.h file uh and we will i'll show you what that is later um but right now we need to declare an a a b and a c and i think we want them to be doubles so a b c simple as that I'm getting a warning because i haven't used them yet that's fine c out enter uh, an a number that is not zero <coughs> because in the quadratic equation a is in the denominator and it's being multiplied by 2. So if it's 0, we're going to get an undefined an undefined equation, an undefined function, and it's not going to work. So enter an A. Enter a number, I think I want to say, for A that is not 0. Well, first of all, let's do a nice title. So quadratic equation program uh, line line okay oops yeah enter a number for a that is not zero and then we'll see into a okay and then see out Now enter a number for B and C in for B and then finally C and L. And now well finally enter a Now to actually write the quadratic equation function. So I think it's negative. Uh, well, let's 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 hold on. Double uh, result. We're going to store the result of the quadratic equation into a variable, double variable called result. So result is equal to. Uh, I want to do this to indicate that it is a fraction. This is the numerator, this is the denominator. So we have negative b uh, plus, and then this is where the square root function comes in. Um, what was it, what was it? b squared, so I'm gonna do b squared. I think that works. Does that work? But hold on, we'll see. Square root b squared minus 4 4ac, four 4bc, four 4ac. Four I'll do just to be safe 4 times a times c. And then, good, that's that one, that's that one. I think that's the numerator. And then we'll just do 2 times a. And that should give us, but I'm still getting a warning. So let's go to the math.h file. Um, these files, by the way, they're called, we're, what we're including are header files. And header files give us the these functions, c out, c in, end l, uh, square root. And they're all defined in these header files. So if I, if I highlight a file and I right click, it will bring up a menu right click and I, I go to jump to definition 
and this is the math.h file so I'm just gonna this is all a bunch of jargon that you do not need to worry about so I'm gonna jump down to math functions and here you can see all the different functions that we can use with when we include the math.h file and I'm looking for is this exponential or exponent hmm don't know I think it's exponential just very very Let's see, type it in. power function this is what I want okay uh, so I want pow I'm gonna type that for my power and then I have square root here sqrt followed by parentheses so I want pow for my power and I'm gonna click back my main.cpp file to go back this is not right so this is gonna be pow and then um, I'm guessing the base first, so d, comma, and then to the power of 2. That looks like it works. Square root is defined correctly. All right, what's the issue? What's the issue? Is this an extra parenthesis? Yeah, it's an extra parenthesis. Okay, so that should be 1, uh, let's see, positive, and then result. It won't exactly be negative. I don't know why I did that, but let's see. So result. This is oh my gosh. We added b here. This is actually plus minus. So this is going to be addition positive, and then result negative. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same thing, except we'll be subtracting. Okay, and square root, just making sure everything's correct. So it's going to perform the calculations and it's going to store when you when you add negative b to the square root in the numerator into result pause, and then it's going to store the result of negative b minus the square root in the numerator in result neg. Um, now there could be issues with this. We could get that based on whatever the user inputs, we could get a negative number in the square root, and that wouldn't be good. But um, I'm going to show, I'm just going to input numbers right now that are that will be positive under the square root, I hope. And then if it doesn't work, the program might crash, but we'll see. So we're going to output all this. Um, when, oops, when b, value of b, is uh, added to the square root in the numerator. New line. And we can end it right there. Then the output. And you get. You get. And then see out when etc etc. B is subtracted to the square root of the numerator, new line. You get result uh, neg. Okay. And then and line. All right, all right. This should be our quadratic equation program. It's not perfect, but it will do for now. We're applying really everything we know, and I'm going to run it. Quadratic equation program, make sure that that is not zero. Two. I want to know four. One. All right, when four is added to the square root of the numerator, you get negative 0 0.2928. Nine three. Oh, oh, this is bad design. Okay, so I'm gonna do an end L. Right. Let me try. Let me try that again. Or what did I put? I put two, four, one. So when four is added to the square root in the numerator, we get a negative decimal. Okay, and we can remember in the last video we can edit that with the uh, set point, show point 
precision, all that good stuff. All right, when 4 is subtracted to the mean root, we get another negative. Okay, all right. So our program seems to be working. I'm not going to check that with my calculator. But uh, I'll just assume that it is correct. All right, all right. Do we get negative mean roots first? I think so. Whatever. All right, so this is the very primitive uh, quadratic equation program, just applying all the programming knowledge we have gained of, uh, about C++. And we will do more of these in the future, so stay tuned.